Hi, I'm Aylin, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. Today's video is going to be a continuation on the series of replacing the AC in Nafis's Honda Insight uh, 2011, the second generation Honda Insight which applies to 2009 to 2014 models. And in today's video, I want to discuss refilling the oil for the AC compressor. And the reason I want to discuss it is because it's a bit of a there's, a, there's a, a bit of complex stuff that we have to discuss because first off, we're, we're placing this compressor in a bone dry system. So we're also replacing the compressor, I mean the condenser, which also has some of the oil that goes in the compressor, which is this PAG 46 oil. And so the reason I say discuss is because it's unclear how much the system can hold in capacity. Uh, some sources say 6.5, some sources say 6.85. And different components of the system hold different amount of, amounts of oil. For example, the condenser holds 1.66 fluid ounces, according to some sources. Um, so for example, the condenser holds 1.66 fluid ounces of the oil. According to a chart that we, we found online, the evaporator holds 1.33 fluid ounces. Uh, the hoses hold about 0.33 fluid ounces, and of course the compressor itself holds oil. So when you, depending on which parts you replace, uh, it changes the amount of oil that you fill the AC compressor with. Right here is the new AC compressor that we're going to replace. It already comes with a bit of oil inside the system, and that's to lubricate it. We're going to, but that's not the right amount of oil. We need to drain that oil and refill it with the proper amount. Okay, so first, before we do anything, before we mess around, we're just going to compare the two to make sure that everything is in order. So it looks like we were working with the same compressor. And so going back to the discussion earlier, because we're adding to a bone dry system, the amount that we add is gonna be a bit different. We took out the condenser and we're taking out the AC compressor, but we're still keeping in the evaporator, which holds some oil. And of course, the hoses themselves have a bit of oil in them as well. And so if we calculate it, it should be about maybe 1.5 fluid ounces still left in the system. If we go by what we found online about the maximum capacity of the system, which is about 6.5 to 6.85, then if we take away uh, that 1.5 that's still in the system, we should be refilling this AC compressor to about five fluid ounces. Not 5.5, I, I know some people say that, but we wanna be careful about overfilling the system. We don't wanna overfill it, so we're gonna be safe and fill it with only five. If you're not replacing the condenser, uh, it's important that you take that into consideration because the condenser itself holds some uh, oil, which is about 1.66 fluid ounces. So if you aren't replacing the condenser, then you might want to go down to like 3.5 or, or 4 fluid ounces. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to drain this old compressor. I mean, we're going to drain the new compressor. So, screw the cap back on. Um, and I think that's all for this segment of the video. Uh, I'm Ayman and today we discuss, and I guess I did kind of show you how to refill the uh, oil on an AC compressor for a Generation 2 Honda Insight. I really mean this video to be more of a central hub for discussion about this kind of stuff because when we were doing research about this, we can't really find a good answer. There's not people talking specifically about Generation 2 Honda's, Honda Insights. So if other people have the same questions, they can come to this video and discuss with other people who are looking for the same thing. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos in 99, especially the series on replacing Noxus's AC system. And I'll see you in the next one. For now, I'm Ayman and signing out.